James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, stay tuned for a video review of this beautiful wine. It is a Chardonnay coming from Brazil, so stay tuned. tasting wines from Brazil for say about seven years or so and uh, so it was up until recently that I did a red wine review uh, by the producer Lidio Carraro and uh, here's another one the Chardonnay by Lidio Carraro as well so it's a really wonderful wine adventure to be on and it's a great way to remember recall and uh, you know give homage to regions in the world that aren't thought of as being wine producing regions but when you think of Brazil there's a very logical reason why it happened the church needed sacramental wines and in order to do so you had to plant uh, grapevines in that specific area because if you did not you could not import wine uh, say several three four hundred years ago it would not have been uh, economically possible today's different and I think that is really the great story and uh, I want to show you a map first we'll talk about this one I'll introduce that in a moment but I want to show you this region uh, it's called Rio Grande do Sul and this red region right here that is where you'll find the bulk of the uh, wine producing regions in Brazil so a lot of people think Brazil is only tropical and while it is you can also find a region that is more southerly and cooler and you look just south of um, this state in Brazil and you'll see Uruguay go west and guess what Argentina and that is the question I always uh, say to viewers look at a wine region and wonder what is going on there because if you look east west south or north of there there might be some wine activity and in Brazil's case that is absolutely true previous video where I uh, reviewed a Lidio Carraro red wine I was really fascinated because this is a region that was settled by Germans and you can look at the architecture it looks like southern Bavaria and that is a really cool thing so it gives that cultural framework and it gives that uh, continuation of this heritage of producing wine grapes so here we go with the proper introduction to this wine Lidio Carraro this is called Alivas and it's from the Serra Gucha Brazil and that is uh, part of uh, that is in the state of the Rio Grande do Sul Brazil Chardonnay 2012 vintage bring it a little closer 14% ABV you'll see the bottle number here on the bottom so it's 011564 out of 35,000 bottles and um, you know for me I was really pleasantly surprised tasting this wine and um, Chardonnay is a really I think it's a sensitive uh, wine grape to grow anywhere in the world and you have to have the right conditions the right climate the right temperature and uh, that's really a testament to this region in Brazil and uh, again I, I reference back just look at where its neighbors are located in terms of their wine production uh, regions and uh, you know say why not for Brazil so I often say keep an open mind for wine regions because I think it's important it's important to keep those uh, you know that uh, viability for these wine regions to continue to do what they are doing and I look forward someday to visiting uh, the Rio Grande do Sul region of Brazil I think for me this is a really great experience and a privilege to be tasting these wines we live in the best of wine times right uh, we live in the best of wine distribution times now if you think of this why uh, you know you go to a Brazilian restaurant in the US Brazilian steakhouse and uh, guess what there's no Brazilian wines you'll find uh, maybe a spirit or beer but you will not find uh, wine and I think it's really about time to see these on the wine list and uh, also ask your grocer if you're interested or your wine merchant ask your wine merchant to bring in these wines ask your uh, you know your wine director at your favorite restaurant bring in some of these wines I think ultimately it is the wine buyers and the wine directors of restaurants or stores who really want to do the right thing and hear from their customers and get that feedback and deliver on that so I think it's really a great opportunity to bring that out so here we go the scent characteristics flavor profile and the point score really handsome wine gorgeous wine here so notes on this include white peach uh, beautiful uh, additional notes of green citrus peel green apple and a hint of white flowers and next the flavor characterization and then the point score hmm. notes on this one include tart green apple green and gold citrus fennel tea and white flowers I give this wine a 9.0 out of my 10.0 scale think of that as 90 points out of 100 points fantastic again 2014 and a delight to taste these wines and a privilege to do so thank you so much and it's also a privilege to have you watch thank you again you can find me on many social medias Facebook Twitter Vimeo Google Plus Pinterest LinkedIn as well as Instagram and WordPress 
and uh, more exciting wines to come as well. Thank you so much for watching and salud.